Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy A T. Today, bro, we back with a little uh, not our normal. Well, actually, it is. See, it's kind of considered a reaction because we about to check out a quick little like two minute clip um, and do a little bit of talking. But if you couldn't tell from the title, um, we about to check out this B Simone manifesting video that she put out um, yesterday. It was like two and a half minutes. She dropped, well, I think it was the day before yesterday, but she dropped it on her Instagram, on her IGTV. It's almost at like 2 million views right now. So many people talking about it, bro. You feel me? This mess was trending. I wanted to actually react to this yesterday, but just didn't get a chance to. Um, so I figured we'd go ahead and knock it out right now. I've seen a couple people reacting to it on YouTube, but not too many. So I said, hey, why not go ahead and check it out? But let me, let me pull this up. Right, let me get y'all right. Coach. All right. Uh, all right. We got first of all, shameless plug. Go follow your boy on IG. You feel me? You trying to go up on there? I've been posting a little bit more as of recent. Definitely got a couple flicks I'm about to throw up. You feel me? Your boy about to get a couple photo shoots going in, but that's that's just a little shameless plug. Let me get B some on. Cause she dropped it. It's still on her page. It ain't like she took it down or nothing. But we we really talking about this because it's a lot of females out here, bro, that's going crazy, like spazzing out. <laughs> I was on Twitter. That's how I even heard about it at first. But hold on, bro. Can we go full screen with this? All right, there we go. All right, now let's see what it's talking about. We just gonna listen to it first. I'm a Afterwards, we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you about some of the insight that I heard about it afterwards and all that. But either way. Happy Valentine's Day! I love you. If you ain't got no Valentine, I will be your Valentine. I will be your little boo for the day. Because you don't need to be lonely. But I'm going to start a little <laughs> Are you love okay? challenge. Because y'all already know we manifest in love all 2021. Bitch, are you off speed, money? Out here, bitch. We're manifesting love. But here's another challenge. We got all these things we want in a man. A list of things. He got to be tall. He got to be dark. He got to be handsome. He got to have pretty teeth. He got to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. He got to be rich. He got to be successful. He got to be all these things. And we ain't even have the things on that list. Ladies. I need, I need all my ladies who are watching this right now. Get down there. In the, I paused it for y'all for a second. Get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that first initial statement. We got all these things we want in the man, but we ain't even half of those. How y'all feel about that? I'll give y'all some time. You feel me? <laughs> i give you some time. You feel me? Get down there and post it. You feel me? Let me know how y'all feeling about that statement. And there's a lot of people coming at it because it was like she's... Actually, I'm going to wait to the end. I'm going to wait. Like I said, we're going to watch the whole video. And I'm doing this initial reaction just with me, right? Y'all know my boys, my brother Drewski, my boy Jew, my boy Kenny. Um, we actually going to be doing a little fellas discussion for my boy Kenny's podcast at Dinner Table 757. Y'all be sure to go check them out. But I'm going to plug that later on this week. We'll be doing a little episode with all four of us as a guy's talk. So it's going to be a lengthy episode, but we gonna, I'm going to probably cut some clips out and post those on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, but this will be one of the topics we're going to be talking about in there. They haven't seen the video at all, as far as I know. Um, but that's going to be on Friday or Saturday. If y'all got any specific topics y'all want us to touch on, just get down there in the comments. Because it's going to be like probably a good hour and a half episode as far as the full length. But we're just going to throw different topics in there. And I know this is going to be one of them. We're probably going to hit on the guy Kevin Samuels, who talks about similar stuff like what B. Simone's talking about right now. As far as women wanting a high value man, but either don't really have much to keep them there or don't really have much to offer a high value man. Um, and that goes in the lane of the whole red pill, blue pill, all that stuff. I've been watching a lot of content as a recent that has to like do with that, but I'm getting a little bit off topic. Ladies, did y'all drop them comments? I want to see them down there. You feel me? Gotta be all these things. And we ain't even have the things on that list. It's tough. We gotta be a family man. Your mama in six months, but you want him to <laughs> <laughs> got... 
Now that ain't funny, but it is funny because it's like that's a factual statement. You feel me? You got family issues. Not that you can't have family issues and want a man that's a family man, but it's like then you might be bringing the issues you've dealt with because you haven't resolved them with your family or with your mom or your dad or whoever or whatever the case might be. You might be bringing those issues into our family, and now you like what? Well, now as a as a man, I'm like, okay, well, you wanted me to be a family man so bad. Yeah, like, that's what you just harping on. Hey, I need a family man, a guy who can take care of me. But then you you not reciprocating that energy on the female side of things. You feel me? You can be financially stable. Your account is in the negative, ma'am. Overdraft fees. See, hold on, hold on. But you want him to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. Your account is in the negative, ma'am. Overdraft fees. <laughs> Now, I know some of the ladies going to take this a little, like, left because of how she's... Because she is delivering it like she low-key cooking you, you feel me? Like, but, I mean, honest, I'm going to wait till the end. You need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed. What well, is COVID? You ain't seen a dentist in six years. You got to have a six-pack to be in shape. You can't even walk up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing. Get your life together. This whole list. That he gotta be. You ain't even have the things on that list. So this is what I challenge you to do. So we can manifest love all 2021. Make that list of that perfect dream man that you got in your mind. Then, huh, what I did. Make a list of the type of woman he would need right by his side. You want him to be in shape? You need to get to the gym. Equally yoked, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you want him to be financially stable? Well, you need to start saving. Because you can't keep a dime to your name. Huh? You want him to be a family man? Call your mama. You become a family woman. Heal your traumas before you put all this shit on him. You want him to be That's what I was just saying, bro. Like, you're going to bring the stuff that you didn't dealt with into our family, but you want me to be a family man so bad, but you ain't, like she just said, dealt with the issues you had on your own. Hey, now, like I said, I know some of the ladies are going to take it a certain way just because of how she's delivering it. But my only thing is, ladies, we can't be biased here, bro. Because if she was just coming out straight bashing men, y'all would be agreeing with it. She could be talking in the same tone, using the same little baby girl and like all that extra. You feel me? She could be doing that. And y'all going to be fully agreeing with it. But when she's coming at the females, like, and she ain't necessarily even, like, well, she kind of is because she's joking about it. But that's what she does. You feel me? She jokes. But it's like she's still speaking facts, bro. She's speaking facts. Like, you can't ask something from somebody and can't even do that yourself. You feel me? Well, I want me uh, a man that's making six figures and I'm making 10000 a year. You feel me? Why do you, like, I need me a man who's doing X, Y, and Z, but I ain't doing none of that. So how the hell you need you? How do you deserve a man that's doing that and you ain't doing, that just don't make sense to me, bro. You want him to be understanding. You the least understanding person in your problem Not before you put all this shit on him. You want him to be patient. Bitch, your patience is thin. Ex you want him to be understanding. You the least understanding person in your circle of friends, but he gotta be understanding. Fix you. That's tough. Fix you. Whatever you want, become that. Ugh. Fuck. He gotta be in shape, bitch. You eat chips every day. See, now, that, now that's where I know the lady. The person we want to attract. How about that? Become uh, the person you want to attract. These birds. Alright, I think that's the end of the video. But we about to go to Twitter and read some of this slander. You feel me? <laughs> we about to break down some of this slander on Twitter. Let's see what the hell they talking about on here. But, bro, I need y'all to get down there in the comments, though. Fellas and the ladies, y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. B. Simone could be giving away a million dollars at the end of her videos. I never know. Um, so if black women really did take B. Simone's advice and only dated our equals, who the f would who the hell who the f would black women be dating? Because statistically, what the hell are you talking about? What does that mean? So if black women really took B. Simone's advice and only dated our equals, who the F would black women be dating? That's my thing, bro. Y'all be take like, you, you, you take what she's saying and you twist it to fit your narrative. Now, in, in a sense, she said to date your equal, right? 
But she didn't say, hey, wherever you at right now, if you in the damn gutter, date somebody in the gutter. No, she said, if you're going to have X, Y, and Z expectations for a man, you need to be at least that X, Y, and Z yourself. You feel me? It's as simple as that. So you level up. Now you can request, hey, I want a man who's up here type thing. You feel me? And, I mean, you don't have to. You can be not as financially stable as the man you want or um, not in the same mind state as far as being understanding. Uh, as far as the whole family man or family woman, I guess you could say, or motherly and all that. Like, you don't have to be in those. You can be down in the in the gutter per se and you want a guy that's up here but it's like are you gonna get that you feel me you just <laughs> that's delusion i learned a lot about b simone's character when i s sent her a ton of pieces from my brand posted wearing them without tagging me and then sold them on her website bro what is y'all niggas talking about I am glad men agree with B. Simone. This is an excellent time for me to reiterate some of my non-negotiable standards that I meet and exceed. College graduate, 75K plus salary, own place, own car, emotionally intelligent, communicative, excels in self-love, doesn't change up. What? First of all, college, I mean, now this here is where it's like, okay, that's fine. That, that can be what you want. But if, what if that perfect man for you didn't graduate college, but he makes 75K plus or 100K plus? I bet cash you're going to take it. Your whole list, like, what does a college graduate have to do with anything? But at the same time, I guess if you raise in certain situations and stuff like that, it's like... It it is what it is, bro. Maybe that's just maybe that's just how you was raised, and that's what you want. Like you want to be able to bring somebody home who can say, "Yeah, I graduated this from from this prestigious college or whatever the case is." What B. Simone said is just basic common sense. But black women don't need to be reminded every five seconds that we have to bring something to the table. Actually, we we bring way more to the table than anybody else statistically. How is that? Where are you getting this statistic from? How is that statistically, my nigga? That's cap. That literally makes no sense. There's no way you could even keep track of that statistically. What the hell? Show me the stats, my nigga. If y'all don't understand that it's not what B. Simone said, but the fact that she said it, and she's a hypocrite attempting to create a new fan base after losing her old one due to plagiarizing coloring books, she printed at Staples. I don't know what to tell you. Y'all really... Now, that's what I wanted to get into. There were people talking about... She was uh, hypocritical because before, which we're going to talk, we going to, hold on, let's see if I can pull this up, be some own manifesting, because I think I remember this kind of going viral back then, but I was going to wait and react to this with the fellas, I'm going to just try and skip through to a certain little clip of it. audio version of the book but the reason why I didn't do audio version allergies please this is and we love branding we love marketing we love catering to a specific audience when we do certain things some people are like she's crazy she's this she's that I don't give a fuck what other people think not one fuck or call her she's supposed to be in his life where the heck is don't manifest the life you want you it's literally, people need to understand you manifest your life, good or bad. Whatever you think becomes your reality. All right, bro, I can't find it. I'm going to find it for our fellas talk, and we're going to break down the initial video we just watched as well as her. That video right there, but I'm going to break it down to the actual clip where she's talking about... Um, Basically, how she can't date a man that's working a nine to five and doing certain things like that. Now, people are saying she's a hypocrite for that. I'm saying, how are you a hypocrite? How is she a hypocrite by saying, now, ladies, if you want a man that's that's X, Y, and Z, you need to be X, Y, and Z at least, right? That's what she's saying right now that she just posted on her IG that we this video here. 
That, that, that's what she said. You need to write it down, what kind of man you want, and write down what kind of woman he needs. And then, you know what I'm saying, you start checking those off your list. If you want a man that's in shape, you need to be in shape. You feel me? If you're going to re request this, you need to at least be that. So how is she being hypocritical if in the uh, in her original manifestation video when she was selling her uh, book and all that, she said she she didn't want to date a man that works a nine to five. Now, at the same time, that's still her saying what she's saying. That, that don't mean for sure you're going to get a man that's not working a nine to five or a man that has the same ambition or the same drive. Or, that don't mean you're going to get the exact man you want just because you're doing your thing. But... The people who are saying she's being hypocritical. That's not hypocritical because back then she said, I can't date a man that's working a nine to five and doing X, Y, and Z. B. Simone wasn't working a nine to five back then. So she's saying, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm doing what I'm doing, so I need a man doing the same thing, which is the same thing she's saying right now. So I'm trying to figure out how is it being hypocritical. Maybe I missed something. I don't know, bro. Let's read a couple more tweets and we're going to be finished with this for now. Um... The reason I am not, do you want to know, I am not here for B. Simone's video is because I'm personally tired of seeing video statements geared on how to get a man. How is it geared on how to get a man? She's just saying if you're saying something about wanting a man, she can say every woman now. She said, if you are a woman who is saying I need a man, that's X, Y, and Z, be X, Y, and Z. She's not saying, okay, if you don't even want a man, hey, this is what you need. She didn't say that. Y'all want to twist it to, to fit your narrative. There are a lot of amazing women who tick all these boxes, and guess what? They still get mistreated. Now, tick all these boxes. I mean, I can understand that. But who, who is talking? Nobody said you, won't, you wouldn't get mistreated or the man wouldn't cheat or that you might not cheat on him. You feel me? Nobody said that. She's just talking about if you're saying you want a man that's up here, you need to at least check off some of those boxes that you're saying you want from him. I'm not understanding what's so hard to to, to comprehend about this. I'll be some understanding that you shouldn't be requiring a man with $10 million and you don't even have $10 in your account, basically. Men got standards, too. You can't get mad, honestly. Not even no pick me is. If you as a woman don't have your ish together, don't require it out of a man. I like that. Yeah, he praying. God, please just bless me with a man, Father God, that makes one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Me, why you got a McDonald's salary? But I'm done. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is gonna be the last thing we watch. When I hear praying to God for something you ain't even ready for. Yeah, he praying. God, please just bless me with a man, Father God, that makes one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Me, why you got a McDonald's salary? But what you finna do with him? He like Creed and Tom Ford. Meanwhile, you still got on Bath and Body Works missed. What you finna do with that man? What you finna do with him? You praying and asking God, please bless me with a man that come from a loving family. Meanwhile, you got fucked up communication skills and abandonment issues. And you still want, trying to figure out why your father ain't never give you no hugs. What you finna do with that man besides destroy him? When I hear mm. She's speaking facts though, bro. That's fact. But it's facts. That's my thing. Not just for the ladies. It's facts on both sides. You feel me? Like, even for men out here. You feel me? We can't be saying, hey, I want the baddest bitch who hella in shape. She got the butt. Got the, she got everything right. And I'm looking like Sloppy Joe out this bit. You feel me? I'm looking like Sloppy Joe out this bit. I want a bitch who, like, on her grind, who doing her thing, making her money. But I ain't grinding. You feel me? I ain't necessarily trying to get to the bag in that way. You feel me? It's like it it works hand in hand on both sides, not just for the ladies, but either way, bruh. It is what it is. Um It is it is I don't know, not, not the men who are just agreeing with B Simone mad in the quote tweets. If you're gonna tell black women to date on our level as far as what we bring to the table, which is way more than just Education, by the way, say what you chat. All right, bro. Either way, we we most definitely finished up with this. You go ahead and get y'all right, coach. Nineteen minute video, a little lengthy, but I feel like it's worth the discussion. You feel me? So I need y'all to get down there in the car. I hope my video ain't looking this choppy, bro. I'm just now looking back at it, but either way, it is what it is. Um, y'all basically done heard my thoughts on the whole situation. I didn't get y'all my spill, so I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this whole situation. 
Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos that are not necessarily in this lane, but something similar to it. Like if y'all have seen the Kevin Samuels uh, show and all that where he's talking to different women and stuff like that. It, it, I'm going to start doing a little bit more content um, like that as far as reacting to maybe some people who say it's some outlandish type stuff. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. It should be pretty good, especially if y'all enjoyed this. And like I said, me and the boys, me and the fellas are coming with a guys talk this weekend. So if y'all have any topics, like I said, we're going to be hitting on this one for sure. But if y'all have any other topics that y'all want to hear us talk about um, or just touch on, just get down there in the comments and let your boy know. We'll definitely come with it, coach. You feel me? But I only got too much else to say. Um, Hey, man, we on the road to 20K subscribers. Hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. Keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.